welcome to my channel, we have never met, and I doubt we ever will. Because the things I am going to teach you put me in grave danger, as these are the things that the fire alarm commissioning engineers want to keep for themselves. So they get to keep their inferior status within your company. Today we are going to start with something simple. How to isolate all the sounders and relays on a gent panel, so you can safely carry out a service without getting under the skin of the pretty girls at reception. First thing you will need to find out is, if the panel is networked with other panels. If it is, I would recommend doing this procedure on all panels. Unless the customer would like you to only carry out tests on this one panel while having the network isolated. I will teach you both. But if other buildings are connected via interfaces, you will not have to worry about isolating the network. The first way I will show you will make it impossible for any of those pesky interfaces to trigger. If you have concluded that the panel is standalone, or connected to other panels via interfaces then press the following. Start by pressing the menu button. Then press control. Or for those not smart enough to read the screen. You can press the button F1. Then press disable. Or F2. Then press sector. Or F3. Then type in the number 1 through to the number 32. Then press loop. Or press card. Dependent on the age of the panel will make a difference in the terminology of this stage. But this should be found above F3. Now press number 1 through to the number 8. Now press enter using F2. Well done, you have successfully disabled the sectors, but we are not done yet. So pay attention. Now we have to take care of the builds. What are builds I hear you ask? Don't worry. You don't need to know this information. Just press the following buttons. And your boss will be none the wiser of your lack of build knowledge. All you need to know is. That they could sound the alarm or shut things down. So we want them disabled. Start by pressing the menu button. Now you can press the control button. Then press the disable button. You may notice. Build is not an option. Don't worry. I will help you find this. Press the etc button. Now you can press the build button. Now type the numbers 1 through 2 255. And hit the enter button. Well done. Those builds won't be bothering you now. We now have to take care of the master alarms. You may have heard them in another language before. Being called sounder circuits. But in the language that is spoken amongst gent engineers. They call them master alarms in an attempt to throw you off the scent. And keep themselves ahead of the pack. This one is nice and simple. You start by pressing the menu button. Then press the control button. Then go for the disable button. You may have guessed after not seeing the option for master alarms that you need to press etc and just went ahead and pressed it. But now find yourself in a panic again because you still do not see a master alarm option. Panic not. Press etc again and the you will see it. Abbreviated to fit in the brackets. As. M. Alarm. Press this option. Now press enter to confirm. Well done. Both sounder circuits are now disabled. We are now at the final stage of a standalone system. One more isolation and you are good to go. We have to now isolate the auxiliary relays inside the fire alarm panel. Start by pressing the menu button again. That's right. Then press the control button. Then hit disable. Now hit the etc button twice until you see auxiliary relay abbreviated to fit in its bracket as. A. U. X. R. L. Y. Now you can press this button. And type the numbers 1 through 2 too. Now hit the enter button. Congratulations. Your standalone fire alarm system will not sound. No matter what you do to it. Now comes the bit if you have one of those annoying customers. Who insist on keeping the rest of his networked system active. So you only affect the panel you are working on. Well in this case. You will need to disable the network. 
But be careful. When you do this, if you test a detector from another panel by mistake, it will evacuate the entire system. Except for the panel you have now disabled. The people working in areas attached to this panel won't even know there is an alarm going off. To disable the network press the following. Start with the menu button. Then press the control button. Then press disable. Now you have to press the etc button a total of three times. You may have noticed the button labeled comes. Situated above F1. But have been nervous about touching it. But fear not. Press it. As this is the button you need to disable the gent network. Now at this stage comes the tricky bit. Because the network card can be put in various slots inside the fire alarm panel. But we will make sure you get the right one. Press the card button. And type in the number 15. The press the enter button. If you had a message on the screen saying successful. Great. That means it worked. But if you had a message saying. Card not present. Fear not. Try the same process but type in the number 6 after you press card instead. Well we made it. For more content and tricks of the fire alarm trade. Please hit subscribe and tell me in the comments what you would like to know next. Stay safe fire alarm engineers. You are the elite of the elite.